Ultima 6! Yay! Let's play it! Um, you wake in a different time upon another world's shore through the Avatar's quest. What? Though the Avatar's quest bring you both triumph and tragedy, never do you stray from the path of the Eight Virtues. Okay. The sagas of Ultima. Four and five chronicle your perilous travels, and your name and your deeds are written forever among Britannia's legends. Well, that's nice. Finally tempered by our struggles against the enemies of virtue, you are proven ready to answer the epic challenge of Ultima VI. Well, it's nice to know I'm ready, game. Thank you for telling me. Select the drive for your save game. Um. Hang on. <coughs> there we go. Hey, please. Yes, please. So I played this game as a kid, like OS 8 or 9 or something like that. And I just fucked around completely. I never played this game seriously. Oh, here we go. Days you emerge from the portals, find yourself standing on a desolate plain. Nearby rests a massive rune struck altar, shrouded in moonlit fog. At first the plain is still. Then a hundred voices raise a slow, death-like song, drawing closer and closer with each passing moment. You are sieged by the urge to run. Oh no! But you have no place to go. Oh no! Before you can offer a protest at the creatures who surround you, scaly claws grasp your body. Ooh, I don't like what what is this going, viewer. No, I don't like this at all. With unearthly strength, the monsters bind you to the, to the altar stone. Yeah, but no gem monsters. What did you do, Origin? Oh wait, they're gonna kill me. Never mind. Kneeling the old swaying chant as a stately winged nightmare steps forward. The leader unwraps a velvet-covered brass-bound book and recites from it in a formal, stilted tongue. Shouts and cheers explode from the masses as the priest slams shut the book. In his hand, a malignant dagger drips with moonlight. You close your eyes. A dying scream, certainly your own, curdles the air. Man, I'm... I'm just a wimp! Cat calls. The dagger. A scream. Death. From the inevitability. Blah, 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 blah. An impossibility emerges. Bonk. Silent red light fills the darkness. There's the wooden clack of a crossbow and a violet-fletched rose blooms in the priest's barren forehead. I think he's dead! Friendly faces vault from a newborn moongate while a rain of quarrels halts the furious mob at bay. The night, the night Dupree's sword flashes twice in the darkness, slicing away your bonds. Quickly, old friend, to the gate! Accompanied by the swordsman Shamnow and a grinning crossbow wielding Yolo the Bard, Dupree thrusts a spare sword into your hand. Snatching the fallen priest's book, uh, Yolo dives into the redness with Shamnow at his heels. The howling throng surges forward all of one terrible mind. The gate wanes rapidly as you and Dupree charge there, but not rapidly enough. Game, I didn't push a button. From the mob's vanguard, three of the abominations scramble forward toward the gate. Driven by fury, the creatures hurl their bodies into the portal's last hand span of light. You'll also notice a difference with the PC version. This one loads a lot and it'll introduce a lot of loading pauses and yeah. 
that's annoying. Okay, here we go, Ultima 6 people. We're really in the game. And there's gargoyles and we have to kill them. <laughs> yeah, you can tell that they actually... That they actually added uh, proper sound effects in this version. Because in, in the original PC, Ultima 6 was... was and it was it was just terrible. <laughs> One dead gargoyle. Two dead gargoyles. Why does my sprite look like a dude? Oh, you're stuck. Oh, I'm so so. Oh, hey, we won. Okay, break off the combat. And, um, you'll notice down here, this bar wasn't here before on a PC version because that's a 320 by 200 resolution. And the FM Towns is 320 by 240. So they had like a strip of pixels that, um, that wasn't there before and they, this is the exit button, I think this is the, is this the load button? Yes, this is a save button. Yes, I would like to save. Um, yeah, they didn't really use it. And this is for switching between Japanese and English. I don't really know enough Japanese to play in Japanese. And yeah. Um, okay, no time for Lord British. Let's see what these gargoyles have. What do I have? No, don't, don't pass, you bastard. Ooh, look, I have a sword dangling from my ear. That means I'm awesome. Okay, I have a sword. Are swords good? Swords are 15 damage points. Clubs are 8. Nevertheless. No, I don't, I don't want to talk to the dead body. Oh, wait, it's loading because the music stopped. Okay, get the club, and then equip it. Good. I'm a dual-wielding badass. Let's see what you have. Leather armor. Yeah, I always thought that. Look at the leather armor. It looks like a face, like a really grumpy, squat kind of face. And now I've told you that, you will never be able to get it out of your head. You'll be like, why are they wearing a face? One more dead dude. No, don't talk to him. A boomerang. Scale mail. Well, that scale mail is better than, you know, leather armor. And a hat. Do I want a boomerang? Not particularly. Oh, and an ank, which I shall equip. Let's see what everyone else has. He has a way better shield. He has a main gush. That's eight damage. That's about as good as a club. And you have this. First off, Dupree, I'm sorry buddy, but you're gonna... What's the give button? How do I... How... 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 Guys... Oh, move, I think. Move this to me. That to uh, me. Move this also to me. Yeah. Okay, this gone, this gone. Oh wait, I don't want the shield armor. I just want the cool armor. Okay, Dupree. You can have that. And you can have your stupid shield bag. God, oh, you're so fussy. And you can have this. I'm sorry I'm stealing all your stuff, but you're just Dupree and I'm the Avatar, so that makes me more important than you. And I see we're up to 10 minutes already. 
So next time I'm gonna talk to Lord British, yes. And his terrible, terrible voice acting. It'll be fun. So, until next time. <laughs>